guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm super excited because I'm going to be showing you guys how to style your jewelry for fall. This title is actually a little bit misleading just because there's not really a right or wrong way to layer your necklaces. This is more of just me showing you examples of how I've been layering my necklaces for fall. You can't really go wrong, especially if you're incorporating different types of lengths and different types of pendants. Besides, no one is gonna come up to you on the street to say, hey, you layered your necklace wrong. But at the end of the day, I feel like layering necklaces for fall is a little bit more tricky just because in the summertime, you have all this bare neck that you can work with from all the tank tops and all of that. But I feel like for fall, you're playing around with different types of materials, thickness, and also different necklines. So I feel like there is kind of, I mean like some sort of rule of thumb. I'm just gonna show you how I like to do it and hopefully you can gain some inspiration from what I do. And if you don't, that's fine too. The four necklaces I'm gonna be using today in my video are all from Majuri. And these four necklaces are perfect for layering because they're all different lengths, so you can still see all the different types of necklaces in action. From shortest to longest, the necklaces that I'll be using today are the Layer Spheres Choker that looks like this. This one is really interesting because there's actually three chains and all these little dots that connect the chain. So it's super cute. This isn't your classic basic choker. This is actually really cute. You can wear this on its own. The second one is this engravable pendant necklace and this one has my initials on it. Obviously, I'm not gonna get anyone else's initials because that's just weird. By the way, side note, does anyone else think it was weird when Gabriella got Troy's initial because, I don't know, is that cute or is that weird? It's like, hi, I'm Gabriella. Hey, why do you have a necklace that says T and not G? Okay, anyway. And the engravable necklace is at your very classic length. This is around 16 inches and you can adjust it so it goes up to 18 inches. That's your very classic chain length. So the next one I will be showing you guys is this one. And this one's a little bit longer. It sits at 20 to 22 inches. And this is the Zodiac necklace. And the last one is the longest necklace that I have. This necklace is literally longer than all of our life expectancies. This is sitting at 26 inches and it has such an interesting chain. So this is the lock necklace. And this one I love just because not only is the chain really interesting, but also if you don't want to have it sit at 26 inches, because this is how long it is basically, you can adjust it and you can put it on any chain that you want. Because of the way it's designed, you can literally hook it on anywhere and you can even wear it shorter if you want as well. So anyway, those are the four necklaces that I'll be showing you guys today. I'm gonna leave a link down below that has all the necklaces that I'm talking about today. Make sure you check check those out. You can also use my link for 10% off. Yes, you are welcome. Before we get this video started, because I've seen a lot of YouTubers do this, and I usually do it at the end of my videos, and then I realize what a great idea to say this in the beginning of the video in case people lose interest, and you don't have them until the end of the video. So, before we get this video started, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you like this video, and leave a nice comment. If you dislike this video, just don't even do anything. All right, now that I've said my piece, let's get this video started. So for this particular crew neck sweater, I like to start off with the choker just because it really complements the crew neck and you can still see the choker visibly. So I'll start off with this and obviously you can wear this on its own, but if you want a more layering aspect so that the sweater is not too plain, I like to wear it with either the Zodiac necklace or even the lock necklace. And that's just because if you can see from the sweater, it is a little bit thicker. So I need a heavier pendant or a heavier chain to weigh it down. If I wear it with the other necklace, which is your typical necklace, it's just going to be a very awkward length right here because it'll be too small for you to really see it and sometimes it'll get tucked underneath the sweater. That being said, I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like with the Zodiac necklace. This is pretty simple and I feel like the gold really complements the pink sweater. And yeah, this is what it looks like. So the next clothing item that you would commonly see in fall is obviously the turtleneck. So with the turtleneck, honestly, my go-to necklace whenever I'm wearing thick turtlenecks, not like the one I was wearing in my intro, I love wearing the lock necklace with it just because the chain on this necklace is a little bit heavier and also the pendant is a little bit heavier. And if I'm feeling extra, I would add the Zodiac necklace on top of this. this 
is what the two item looks like together. This is just such a great way to style a turtleneck because typically with turtlenecks, you feel like it's really hard to put anything else on there because you can't even wear a scarf really just because it's already taking up so much neck space. So necklaces are such a great way to spice up your turtleneck. So the next type of neckline that you would commonly see in fall is also the v-neck. This could be like a t-shirt or in my case this is a sweater. Because it's a v-neck I like to go along the neckline just like how previously you saw in the crew neck. I like to start off with the roundness of the crew neck. I have the engravable necklace to balance out the neckline and then I also added the choker as well so that it's not too plain depending on how deep the v-neck is. So in my case you can see that this one is pretty low. There is room for you to also layer another piece just to kind of maximize my real estate. In this particular case, I'm gonna layer on the lock necklace with this neckline. My basis is always going to be this necklace right here just because it's a really good middle ground between the two items. As you can see, this one's a little bit too long. And like I said, what I like about this necklace is that you can adjust. So I'm just gonna make sure I adjust this so that you are still able to see this necklace in action. So this is the final product and obviously, you can go with just one item, but this is what the extra item looks like. So even for fall, I love wearing my plain white t-shirt or this could also be a plain black t-shirt. I still style it the same way, really. I like to wear just my plain white crew neck t-shirt and I like to wear this with both of the circular pendants. So this one is the engravable necklace and this is the zodiac. I love layering these two together. And for fall, I just like to throw a blazer on top of this look just to make it a little bit warmer. So this is what it looks like as a final look. And this is probably one of my favorite combinations just because because I think that the circular pendants go really well together. This one's a little bit smaller and shorter and this one is longer and bigger. Wow, this sounds kind of dirty. But anyway, if you don't have any layering pieces right now, I would probably say out of all of the different combinations that I've showed you today, this is probably my favorite combination so far. And I think that these two necklaces are such a great way to start your whole layering journey. Just because this length honestly goes with so many items, you can wear it on your own and then on on top of that, this necklace also goes along with everything. These two are probably my two favorite pieces from Majuri as well. So if you're looking for two investment pieces, they're probably the best way to go. And also out of the four pieces that I've shown you today, these two are literally the two items in between. So it's not the shortest and it's not the longest. So it's the perfect combination to get you started. And then once you've kind of started and you wanted to amp up your layering game, you can start adding shorter pieces and longer pieces as well. So that's that was the video for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, if you didn't catch my message in the beginning, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Four necklaces are perfect for, don't interrupt me. And besides, <laughs> I can't even talk. Oh my God. What is another word for layering without saying layering?